Hey guys! Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So we have ambassador box number two coming straight at you. Okay, um, this box is all about peppermint and tea tree oil, which I'm super excited about. So it's all about clarifying and conditioning and treating and refreshing your hair, which is so very important. All the products we put in our hair, we want to make sure that we're cleansing and clarifying our scalp and our strands, as well as making sure that, you know what I'm saying, we're using some products that's going to refresh it, keep it nice and clean, and all that good stuff. So if this is a video that you're interested in, then please keep on watching so this video is going to be all focused on the wash day process so shampoo and conditioning and using the hair milk actually recently I've been trying to use the hair milks or leave-in conditioners when my hair is soaking wet in the shower so I'm going to be doing the same exact thing today so we're going to take it to the shower shampoo condition and put this hair milk in and I will show you guys what my hair is looking like afterwards and then that will be it hold on real quick make sure that you go down below hit the subscribe button use my code Raquel to get money off your purchases because this is the time to be supporting black owned businesses so get your coins and get your products and let's get into this video Hey right, guys, so I'm going to start off by washing out all the product that is in my hair currently. I just used gel and I just had a lot of product from the week. So I'm just going to use warm water to rinse out as much as I can. So the first product I'm going to be using is the Peppermint Tea Tree Natural Shampoo. This shampoo claims to be an invigorating shampoo that increases scalp circulation for a refreshed, renewed feeling. Formulated to alleviate dry, flaking scalp with the use of pure peppermint botanicals, this gentle shampoo will pamper your hair without the use of harsh detergents or chemicals. So as you guys can see, this shampoo lathers up really easily and quickly. You don't need that much, but since I had gel in my hair and a lot of product, I just wanted to make sure I got as much of the product out as possible in the first wash. I am going to wash it again just to make sure my hair is completely clean. This is honestly a gentle shampoo. I have used other shampoos and products that have peppermint in it that are a lot stronger. The smell is not too strong. It's very gentle, and this is a product you can really use use at least once a month or when needed it does not strip your hair y'all I know this is a clarifying shampoo but it did not leave my hair stripped my hair felt moisturized I was able to detangle with the shampoo in my hair and it was really amazing just make sure you don't get any in your eye like I did okay <laughs> Once I rinse out the shampoo, I'm going to use the Peppermint Tea Tree Natural Conditioner. This conditioner claims to be a refreshing formula, fortified to help hair appear fuller, thicker, and shinier. Softens hair for easy detangling. Y'all, so this conditioner instantly moisturized my hair and made my hair feel soft. Since I already said my hair wasn't stripped from the shampoo, it just helped to keep my hair hydrated. And it was really easy to detangle, so I just used my Felicia Leatherwood brush from my last ambassador box. And I just detangled my hair to make sure that the conditioner really soaked through my hair. I wanted to ensure that it coated all of my strands and my hair felt really soft and moisturized. So the last product I'm going to be using is the Peppermint Tea Tree All Natural Hair Milk. This claims to be a leave-in conditioner that boosts moisture and shine in your hair without being too heavy. It's made with organic coconut oil, jojoba, and avocado, and this blend delivers antioxidants that replenish and rejuvenate dry, brittle hair and reduces split ends. It leaves your hair soft, shiny, and manageable. It's great for detangling tight curls. Now this milk is very loose. Um, if you've seen the conditioner, the conditioner wasn't thick, it was like a medium thickness, but this one is a lot looser, it's lightweight. 
So you're gonna see me put my hair into four sections and put the milk in and then I'm gonna do two twists in each section just so my hair can truly soak in all the ingredients and then I'm gonna put a, a plastic cap over it as well to keep the moisture in the milk felt okay going in my hair it didn't feel immediately moisturized but it didn't feel dry either I personally felt like the conditioner immediately moisturized my hair the milk I don't know if it truly soaked into my hair I'm just gonna let this milk sit in my hair and put a plastic cap over it and then we'll see how my hair feels once I'm done hey y'all so it is the next day as you can see my hair looks crazy but basically um you saw me put the hair milk in last night when I was in the shower while it was dripping wet and all I did last night was let it air dry so I'm just gonna check the moisture level it's pretty much dry now Oops. To see what my hair feels like. Ooh, this part is actually a little bit wet still. But as you can see, honestly, this milk by itself for my hair is not that great. But so I think that if you paired this milk with a styler, that it will work really well because if you've seen, like, the consistency is very loose. Like, Oh, it doesn't look like it now, but <laughs> the consistency is like pretty loose, like, did you see that? So you really don't need a lot. So this is what the rest of it is looking like. Yeah, like by itself, this isn't the, moist, the most moisturizing milk I've used in my hair. But I think that's okay. I'm about to work with it and see what happens. So I think it's important for us to all remember that products work differently in people's hair. So just because this didn't work in my hair does not mean it won't work for you. But I did use this hair milk with another Eden product and the moisture was impeccable, y'all. So that means you gotta stay tuned for the next video. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give you quick thoughts about the line. So my favorite two products are the shampoo and conditioner. I absolutely love them. The shampoo feels so amazing on my hair. As you can see, you don't need that much. I actually had a bunch of gel in my hair and it still lathered up really nicely in the beginning and then I did a second wash and it really lathered up. But um, this felt really good. And also when I compare it to other peppermint tea tree or like peppermint um, products that I've had, this is more of like a mild, like more frequent one I would use. Some of the other products I have have a very, very strong peppermint smell and it's like too much sometimes, but it's good on like a really great spa day. But this one I would use more often just because it's just nice and gentle. It feels good on your scalp. And then once you add the conditioner, you can really feel the peppermint and tea tree oil. This conditioner had really nice slip. I was able to detangle my hair. It felt good in my hair. So these are really my absolute faves. I definitely love these. I would definitely get these two again as for the milk unfortunately for me um it doesn't work the best on my hair but yeah my hair is still pretty dry but i'm going to use this in conjunction with a styler and see how it comes out a little bit better but this might work better for maybe if you have a little bit of a looser um texture or if your hair likes really like thin products um this might work better for you but it didn't really penetrate i feel like in my strands to make my hair feel like it doesn't feel rough or anything, but it's not the softest it's been, and it's not the most hydrated, um, especially for when I use that method, but it's okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this wash day. Make sure you use my code Raquel to get 15% off, purchase your products. Make sure you definitely check these two out, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Easy coming where I'm coming from People dying every day to all these bullets from a gun I do not understand